Alrighty, what's good everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I wanted to walk through an interesting scenario we had. I just did an estimate for a friend of mine, a rental property we did several years ago, decent size rec room in the basement, and we're gonna do a couple different estimates for the client. So we're gonna walk through this together just in case you're trying to figure out how to do estimates or if you run into a situation like this and you're wondering, what the heck is this gonna cost me to have this replaced? So. We got the rec room and we got a hallway. Now, I did this install probably five years ago with your basic rental grade carpet and it looks pretty good still, but they had water come into this side of the basement. Big old flood came in over here, damaged carpet over here. So I don't know if the homeowner or the tenant, somebody went ahead and they notched this section out. I guess to get rid of the water, maybe not the, the best way to go about it, but whatever, we have this part lobbed off. We also have a pool table right here. And the hallway's over here. So they wanted two different estimates. One is to bring in the same carpet, even though we're gonna have a different dye lot issue, and we're gonna split the room right here and just replace this section. The other estimate is to replace the whole thing. Either way, not a bad scenario. We got 12 wide on this room. Our overall is going to be a 31 footer for right here. But if we did this section right here, this is only a 12 by 18. Now the hallway in theory would remain the same if we're only doing this section right here. We wouldn't touch that, but we're going to give them an estimate on the hallway anyway. And this is a 12 and we got nine right here. So let's go through all this. Now, there is old carpet down, there's furniture in here, and we do have a pool table. So let's go through some numbers here so we know about what to expect on this. So let's say we go with the 12 by 18 first. Just replace the 12 by 18 section of the room. This converts over to 24 square yards. Now, if you're trying to figure out how I came up with 24 square yards, it's width times length divided by nine. 24 yards. Now, these are clients of mine have been with me forever, and this is a get-in type product. So very economical, cheap carpet, cheap pad, and installation is $13 a yard on this particular product. And you basically got to be grandfathered in with me to get these prices, but there's companies out there that do it for about a dollar or two, even less than that in high volume jobs. But anyway, that really doesn't matter a whole lot. I'm just letting you know we're basing this estimate off of $13 a yard. So carpet pad installation is going to run them $312 right off the rip. Now, this is just for this section, but there is furniture and there's old carpet to take out of this section. So I always itemize this. Sometimes the landlord or the owner will go ahead and do this themselves. Sometimes they'll say for that price, you go ahead and do it yourself. So for me to go ahead and remove the existing carpet, I'm gonna charge you $50. For me to move your furniture around, I'm gonna charge you another $50. So this whole section right here is gonna be $412. If we just go with that, I'm gonna drop this piece in, I'm gonna burn a butt ugly seam right there, just keeping it real, but that's it. Boom, boom, $412, I take care of everything for you. The next scenario is we replace the whole room, keep it nice and uniform, we don't chop anything up. In this case, we're gonna do a 12 by 31 and that converts over to 41.33 square yards. And once again, width times length divided by nine, 41.33 square yards. We're gonna go do the full rundown again. So 41.33 square yards times 13 a yard is gonna convert over to $537 is gonna be the price to do carpet pad and installation in this room. Next, for me to remove this existing carpet, I'm gonna charge you $80. For me to handle the furniture in this room is gonna be $80. So right off the rip, if I do the whole bundle for you in this section here, carpet, padding, installation, furniture handling, and old carpet removal, I'm gonna charge you $697. So just giving you some ideas on how to price things. Now here is one thing to keep in mind. We have a pool table. Now for everybody watching this right now, when there's a pool table involved, a couple things have to be addressed. One, if you want the installer to move the pool table, you have to know it will not be level when it goes back. Next, 
there's usually a surcharge for handling a pool table because they are insanely heavy. So in many cases, you could throw on another $100 right off the rip, which would take this to $7.97. Like I said, this is one of my dudes, been with me a long time through the highs and lows. So I'm not going to worry about this, but if this was just a random new referral or whatever, there would be a $100 surcharge at least to handle the pool table plus the point that this will not be level when it goes back. You have to bring in professionals to handle that. That is not the installer's job. That is a pool table company's job to make sure it's level. So just a few things to keep in mind. If you're the installer, make sure you let your client know that. And if you're a client trying to figure this stuff out, just know this is what you could expect. So we got 697 to do the whole room, handling the whole bundle for them. And then finally, we have this hallway over here, which I don't think he's going to want me to do, but I was there. There's carpet there. We're going to go ahead and throw a number at them anyway. See if we can scrape together a couple more dollars. So we got 12 wide by 9. So you got 12 by 9, which converts over to 12 square yards. Once again, width times length divided by 9, 12 yards. So a 12 yard, you got 12 yards times 13 a yard for the carpet pen installation is going to be $156 for carpet pen installation. Now it's a hallway. There's no furniture in this room, but there is old carpet to be removed. So if I was to remove the old carpet for the client, I'm going to charge you $24 to handle that as well, which would bring this up to $180. Now present this to the client itemized each way whichever way he wants to go in this we're good to go but at best case seven eight nine almost nine hundred dollar job if we do the whole bundle for him or just a quick and easy you know hour and a half two hour job quick four hundred dollars minus material costs you know roughly two hundred dollars whatever not a big win in that case but easy end of the day type money so this is how you break down a print here's how you figure your numbers and do your estimates and itemize everything for your clients if you're the installer reviewing this wanting to go out on your own, this is how you present it to the customer and get it sold. Any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, go ahead and comment below or shoot me a text at 440-678-1157. No, 1151. I don't know. I forgot my own number. I'll post it below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.